arrested on or after October 1st, 2014. If you got arrested before that, it's only a factor if you're a repeat offender. So here's what it is. It's a device that's installed in the ignition system of your car that won't start it until you take a little mini breathalyzer test every single time. Attempting to start your car with a breath alcohol concentration as low as .02 assesses penalties against you that can begin to pile up. Those penalties can result in a longer ignition interlock requirement all the way up to license suspension. You pay a monthly fee for the service. It's monitored by the probation department. We have a link to the probation department on our website you can find out more information about the approved devices from. You also have to take your car in regularly to have the device inspected to make sure it works right. Attempting to avoid the device is a crime. Driving without it carries up to a year in prison and another six months of ignition interlock. And that's for a first offense. It's just another reason to try to fight that first DUI or DUAC charge. The stakes are even higher now. You might have defenses you don't even know about, and you just might be not guilty. You owe it to yourself to give yourself the peace of mind knowing you did all you could. I thank you for thinking about this with me. Mm -hmm.